Uh, hello students and viewers welcome to all in your own favorite online classroom excellence learner students from today i am going to start a series on merchant of venice you know this is the part of the syllabus for students of class 9 and 10 of icsc board right I, I have been receiving a lot of requests from my students that I must start the explanation on Merchant of Venice. So, today I am here with the explanation. I will explain scene by scene, act back to all you people. You know, it is not a very easy task because it is written by Shakespeare and Shakespeare has written this drama nearly about four odd years ago so the language is very old and again Shakespeare had a special cult of the language he has developed some special type of writing and delivering this the dialogue that is not easy job to understand correct in spite of that I am trying my best to put my effort lot to make the subject easier for all you people right though in digital classroom we have some limitations in spite of this limitation i will make the subject make the dialogue make the scene everything easier for all you people correct just stay with me and those who have not subscribed my channel till now i request go ahead subscribe the channel press the bell icon this is the bell icon and those people who have already subscribed my channel i request them to share it as much as they can and at the same time never forget to put the comment in the comment box because these are such material these are such activities of your of your people that enables me to create some new ideas right okay so now it is the very first day i am just going to start from act one scene one it is a very important part of the drama not only the point of drama but also for examination point of view if you try to see and look into the pattern of the question that has been uh, given from the ISCSC board, you will get that the Act 1, Scene 1 has been asked in several years, right? So it is a very important and so it needs much and more attention. At the same time, it is the very first scene of this drama. So, it is also very important on the dramatic point of view. Because here, the scene of the play present the exposition. Expo, right? We will meet some characters in that very first scene. And from that, from here I mean the dramatist. A dramatist put a base on which make a pillar on which the entire building of the drama will be constructed correct okay students in act one scene one we have divided the scene into two parts first part where we will meet with antonio with his two other friends Salerino and Salenio. So, somewhere we get his other name, Salerio. Both are the same person, different name, correct? And at the very beginning, we will get Antonio is talking with his two friends. One, he is in shy mood, he is in melancholy status. And these two friends trying to find out why. Antonio is sorry. 
why antennas not feeling good right they are giving much and more, more than one options and advices right and on the other part we will get here antennio talks with bassenio his best friend and two other companion of bassenio so this scene has been categorically divided into two parts right so first day today i uh, i will try to cover up only first part of the scene correct nice okay i am just going to start for you please listen to me attentively first i will read out the actual text of the shakespeare and then after i will give the explanation in very simple way so that you people get understand right correct now it starts scene one banish a street enter antonio salerino and selenio here salerino and selenio both are very similar name so please be at, uh, careful about it because many of time you are asked in examination to write who said this dialogue right okay so i start and tell you in sooth i know not why i am so sad it worries me you say it worries you but how i caught it found it or came by it what stuff this met of what where of it born i am to learn and such a want with sadness make up me that i have much ado to know myself right in the very beginning dialogue we get that antonio is in very sad mood he say i am so sad but very interesting thing is that he is not able to find out the actual reason of his sadness because he say because he say how i caught it i found it or came by it it is not known to him from where his sadness start what is the reason of the sadness and how he he became the prey of the sadness all this question is still to be known right and i have much ado to know myself and he says that it is very difficult it is full of problem to know himself myself really it is a very hard task my students to know oneself is really a very great and herculean task every day every time we claim that i know you i know you better but sorry to say we never ever know ourselves so it is the truth that's why i tell you he's saying here i am in problem i am in not in good situation of mind i feel very much sorry but where what is the reason where this problem arises i am totally ignorant about that because it is very herculean very hard very uh, impossible i mean to know one thing correct now his friend says salerino your mind is tossing on the ocean where there were your Ar argosies with portly sail like sig signers and rich burgers on the float or it is where the peasants of the sea do overpeer the pretty traffickers the courtesy show them do them reverence as they fly by them with their webbed wings we know well that antonio was well known merchant of the venice correct and that time his ship is on the way 
for some business right so salerno says tries to find out the reason of his tension reason of his worry that he says your mind is tossing on the ocean means in your ship are in ocean right now that's why you are always thinking about the ship your mind is tossing your mind is waving with the ship right and he says actually antonio was a very famous merchant of the venice he had a very big ship so here in that line salerno explains about his ship he says his ship is like a argos argosis argosis means big merchant ship so your ship is so big and it is like a signature signature means that respectable person so your seen a ship is respected by small boats or ship in the sea everyone respect your ship and go down to show their respect and your ship in the sea fly moves like their own wings right so in this by this dalak uh, his friend that's name is salerino tried to specify him saying that don't worry your ship is too big your ship is matchless it is unique so don't worry about that though your ship is in the web right but make sure your ship will be harmless because it is too big right students keep in mind you always ask in the examination write the comparison to who the ship is compared with right so please keep in mind all the comparison that is the, that you are made by salerino correct okay again the let me share now it is time to salerino he uh, he starts he says believe me sir if i had if i uh, believe me sir had i such venture forth the better part of my affection would be with my hopes abroad i should be still plucking grass to know where sit the wheel peering the map for port and fires and roads and every object that might make me fear misfortune of my venture out of doubt would make me shy so his next friend that's name is Selen selenio says his argument he says no it is natural to be sad right now he says if i were you i had then that time each and every moment i would have i would have put to find out the actual direction of the wind i should engage myself to find out whether the wind is favorable or not i would give my all time to find out which road is right where is the possibility of pirates so e so a little unfavorable in, uh, event that time could put me in worry so your worriness is natural because right now your ship are in the sea they are in certain waves correct so you are in worry you are in melancholy status the both friend of antonio giving different different reason and argument correct okay i thought you are understanding the dialogue of shakespeare i am trying to put the word in very simple way correct okay next one not is the turn of salerino 
my wind cool my breath would blow me to an ague when i thought what harm a wind to great at sea might do i should not see the sandy over glass run but i should think of shallow of flats and see my wealthy and would dock it in sand veiling her high up lower than the rip to kiss the burial should i go to church and see the holy edifice of a stone here salerino he was really in very a uh, suspicious person he is so suspicious he is so insecure that he think he says in fact when i when i blow wind to cool my breath i get scared of right i i get myself in pain and panic because i think if little blow of wind of mine can able to cool down the breath then definitely a little blow of god can make harm to my ship that's why thinking this blowing i never tried to cool my breath with blowing of air right okay again he says when i see the sand watch sand sandy hourglass in olden time when the type of watch was not discovered people used to count the time with the help of sandy watch so he says whenever i see the sandy watch oh my god i remember the sand of the sea the sand of the sea comes into my eyes and i get scared of because i think that might my ship could be uh could could get burial in the sea of the sand so i hesitate to see the sand of this hourglass again he says when i go to the church and where this big stones of the church is called is a, a edifice of stone reminds me the obstacle within the sea and i fear oh, that my ship may dash with the stone within the sea and could get hard so both of his friend giving him various type of comparison and proving that antonius sorry antonius melancholy mood ha, is a very natural thing right but let see what he answers by he says believe me no i thank my fortune for it my venture are not in one bottom prospect not to one place not to my whole state upon the fortune of this present year therefore my merchandise make me not fat seeing this various argument of his friend antonio finally says that he feels himself or chew right because his venture his business is not centered and focused or limited to a ship correct he has a very big business so one sea that is tossing in the web of the sea is not the reason of this worry right not a place not any state he says my a business is scattered here and there i have invested my money in several things so only one thing can put me in sad can plunge me into the sheep of worryness correct so 
finally and then you dismiss all of the argument all the comparison that is delivered by his two friends Salerno and Salenio correct again why then you are in why then you are in love Salerno then say if these things just worldly things are not the matter for your worriness for your sorry for your melancholy status then definitely you are in love knowing that and hearing this word automatically at the same time Antonio bombs back Antonio gives back the answer why why no 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 it is not possible because we know Antonio is middle-aged person he thinks and says that he has already crossed this age so love is not the matter love is not the point of life right so suddenly you not love neither then let us say you you are then let us say you are sad because you are not married very fantastic line my students i love and like this line very much and this is the fact when we are sad means we are not happy if we are happy then there is no room of sadness because both are opposite if there is sun definitely there is no darkness and if there is a darkness definitely there is no sun right so they are the contradict to each other so finally salerno after giving such comparison such uh, argument he says that mean you are not in happy mood you are not merry that why you are sad correct okay for you laugh and leave when you say you are merry because you are not sad no by two headed genus nature has fam nature hath framed a strange fellow in her time some that will ever more peep through their eyes and laugh like parrot as a bag piper and other of such vinger aspects that they will not show their teeth in way of a smile though nestor strays the chest be laughable here we have two words one janus and another is nestor so janus is a god and it is supposed that janus has two head from one head he he looks like very happy person he is very happy and from another hand he seems to be a very frowny person right and another name what we get here is nestor nestor was considered one of the wisest person of the italy that time correct so he says really god has made two types of person just like genus one he is always happy right he is without any reason he will be able to transit his his happiness with their smile and laughter whereas we have another type of person who never ever will able to show his teeth means he is not able to uh, laugh even though this wise person nastur may declare that it is a joke to be laughed right so he says that we have two types of person in the world one who is very laughable very pleasant play, uh, very friendly person who always gives up jingle of laughter whereas some person are very very conscious he is always in grave mood and very hardly get a chance to show her tip on any joke correct so here comes bashenyu bashenyu most noble kinsman grasino and lorenzo fair you, you well we leave you now with better company when they were chatting 
when they were exchanging dialogue. In that moment, we get three another person. One, Bassanio, one of the closest friends of Encanio, and with his companion to others, Gracino and Lorenzo comes. So, Salerno, uh, Salerno says, the better companion are not here. I must leave the place. So, fare you well. Salerno, I would have stayed till I had made you marry if uh, if Warther friend had not prevented me. Salerno says, I had made myself to make you happy, but now some other valuable person are here. That's why I must leave the place. Right? For their this dialogue, their this their feeling, and then you say, your worth is very dear in my regard. I take it your own business call on you and you embrace the occasion to depart. Right. So in here we, we get that Antonio was very much sensible person. He respects all his friends. He says, you both are very valuable for me. Your worth is very dear in my regard. Means you are very valuable for me. But I know you have some your own work, some your own business. That's why you are living right now. Correct? Fantastic. Okay. So, Inter, Bassanio, Lorenzo, and Gracino. Right? So, no, no, good morrow, my good lord. Good morrow means good morning. And he greets to Bassanio. Um, Bassanio. Good signatures. Both. When shall we laugh? Say when. So, when Bassanio meets, we know Bassanio is very different type of person. Right? He, he never hesitated to lavish his money in the party of his friend. Right? So, he says, uh, when shall we laugh? Means when shall we make party? Right? When we will get together and make make merry you grow exceeding stranger must it to be so Bashenu says to Salerino that very long time we did not ha have get a time to make merry and arrange a party and I believe and I think that you are you have you are making some distance from you why so tell me any date and time so that we can arrange a party Correct? Okay. We will make our little to attend on you. So Salerno says, I have, <coughs> I will manage the time. Please tell me when you are going to arrange the party. Correct? <coughs> okay. Lorenzo, Lord Bessin, uh, uh, Lorenzo, my Lord Bessino, Bessinio, since you have found and tenure. Uh, we will too leave you, but at a dinner time, I pray you you have in mind where we must meet. So Lorenzo said to Bassanio that after meeting with Antonio, we will leave you, but I will pray to have dinner with all together, right? So Lorenzo says, I will wait for you in the dinner time, okay? So here, the other two, the first two friends of Antonio leave, leave the place. And the new three, Bashenio, his companion, two other companions enters. And what they think, what they talk, and what is the matter of their discussion, we will be try to give you the explanation in the next video. Till now, again I say, please subscribe me. Write your comment if you want any new things regarding your syllabus. Don't hesitate to write there. Correct? Till now.
I promise I will come back with next video where I will try to cover up the, the other part of this scene one act one. Correct? Bye-bye.